Hello guys, I'm up here in the amazing Northwest with an iPhone 5S doing a video quality test. Now while on paper it may not look that much different than the iPhone 5s, I've done this test last year and I know the capability of the iPhone 5. Both sensors are still at 8 megapixels, which basically means the picture size is exactly the same. However, when it comes to video capability, the iPhone 5S outshines the 5. Now a little disclaimer, all of this footage is from the 5S. I didn't take my DSLR out and start recording. This is unbelievable footage from the 5S. Without a doubt, I can say the 5S picked up where the 5 left off. Image stabilization, color vibrance, and low light recording is where the 5S just improves what the 5 was already good at. The aperture on the 5S is 2.2 f-stops, whereas it was limited to 2.4 on the iPhone 5. And I really couldn't believe that such a small improvement would make such a massive difference when it comes to the video quality capabilities. The only minor problem I had with the iPhone 5 was that the color looked a little bit washed out, as if it just wasn't vibrant and true to life. With the iPhone 5S, that issue has been fixed. The image is just beautiful. It's something that really bothered me in the iPhone 5 that I'm so happy Apple fixed with the 5S. Not exclusive to the 5S, but the zooming in capabilities that have been added to iOS 7 are very nice. It's not pixelated as you would expect with digital zoom. It's nice, however, not as fluid yet as I would like it to be. Another welcome change that's been greatly improved is the ability to go from a very dark surface to a lighter one and have a very fluid change. So right here, I'm looking at the sun. I pan down to where it's darker the trees and it lightens up. It looks very good. It's not something unnatural that you actually have to tap the screen to refocus. It does it gradually. And I was very impressed with this. I was very happy to see that auto image stabilization has been added. I was driving in my car recording and the video is perfectly watchable. Another important, however, small feature to note is the ability to quickly focus from one subject to another. It was fast, no fuss whatsoever. With E5, I noticed it's not bad. However, it's just a little bit slower. So. You know, it's not a massive improvement to people, but little things like these add up. And the most exciting feature is the new slow motion capabilities. I was just impressed by this. I mean, it doesn't take much. However, to find this level of quality on a camera sensor was very impressive to me. So to sum it all up, the iPhone 5S has quite a few things that'll make the iPhone 5 camera jealous. And that includes better image stabilization, better low light capabilities, and all around better focus, better vibrance, better quality. I love recording videos like these and especially sharing them with you. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.